Hi there. There's a few people that asked me if I could show how I made my uh, theming application at developphp.com. So that's so what are these tutorials going to be all about? I'm going to show you how to use the PHP and CSS style sheets. We we'll use PHP cookies and CSS style sheets to theme out your website and allow people to choose between those themes. So if I go here, I click apply plastic, you'll see it takes on a whole new design. And if I go to the forums, it retains the design all the way through. Even if I shut the browser down completely and come back a week later, this design will be what I see when I come to the site. Any of the uh, the home page, the tutorial sections, anything man everything man I show you now what I've done is I put a package together that is three simple pages so rather than try to have you decipher through the code at develop PHP's source code I just put it into simple little files that are easy files and this is the working demonstration where you can take this download package and put these files up on your server it has to be a PHP, a PHP enabled server so if you have a PHP enabled on your local machine you can test right on your local machine but if you don't have PHP enabled on your local machine you can test it online you just throw it on your server online and you'll see it all working dandy so here I'm at the home page here's the contact page this is just a simulated website very simple here's the themes page you'll see there's two choices you can put as many choices as you like. I put Ladybug and Cardinal. Ladybug is default. So if I click Cardinal, it changes the theme of the whole site. And you can change anything about the site. Placement of these items, color of all these things, color of your links, color of the boxes, background, color, background, image. So if I go back to Ladybug, bada bing, bada boom, Cardinal, go home contact page it retains that theme if I'm a user at your site you have this going I close down my browser I come to your site a week later it retains the cardinal theme for me even though ladybug is default so now let's take a look at these files okay so now that you've seen it working and we've tested it fully I'm gonna show you the files now and we'll discuss the code so here is a folder called my website which would be your website this is just a little website that I simulated for this example so the code is nice and slim inside of these files as to not clog things and get in the way so you can fully understand what's going on when you download this package you look at these files you look at the source code you'll say oh very easy it's very easy thank you Adam for doing that for me and giving me the comments in the code I appreciate that and I know there's going to be some people on YouTube who are going to be like, Is that a tutorial? I want to see you type in code, Adam. Type the code in front of me on YouTube. You damn it. No, I'm not doing it. Because there's a few files here. It takes a few files to get this going. Okay, so you got the index page, which is your home page. Your contact page. And say this is the page called Choose Theme. This is the one you want to put on your site. This page will allow them to choose the theme to change the theme up on your site that's what that page's purpose is let's open the home page open with a derby cs4 the remover you'll notice it's just like any other home page actually let me just open them all file all right that's all the files that's powering the whole site this simulated site i have so let's look at the index page and let's talk about how the index page works okay so the first thing that happens in your home page or really on any page where you want these themes to be displayed which would be all the pages on your site probably you have to do this CSS cookie check let's move right over here I'm gonna look at that code in just a second so first we do the CSS cookie check which is including the from the style folder a PHP file called CSS cookie check so when we run include here that means that code's going to execute that's in this cookie check file and you'll notice here in the choose theme page and the contact page we run that cookie check 
in the CSS cookie check, what we do here, let's just read the comments. It says, this file checks to see if they have a style cookie present in their browser software. If they do, then we access its value and put it into the style choice variable. If they do not, then we simply place the default site theme into the variable value. You can see that's taking place here within this if and else condition statement. First we just initialize the style choice variable, then we say if is not set cookie site style, then the style choice is the default ladybug, or whatever your default style is for your website, whatever default theme. Else, that means they do have set a cookie style, we put this cookie style variable into the style choice local variable. So that's just saying, you know, if they have a style cookie set, then we put that style cookie variable value into this variable here. If they don't have one set yet, it has to be the default layout. That's how that works. Okay, very good. Let's close that one. So on the index page, after that runs, then your index page is going to know whether or not that there's a style choice set or not. If it has it, it's going to give it the default value or the option that they chose. And you'll have to understand CSS somewhat to get this working real nicely for you. Uh, you'll see in the example, you don't have to understand much CSS by this example, but if you want to do really elaborate things with this, you'll have to understand CSS. And you'll have to understand working with a linked style sheet. Use style sheets like I'm using for each theme. So what you do here is you use PHP to render in the style sheet linkage. So we go to style folder, whatever their choice is. So if I chose cardinal, this is going to say cardinal. PHP is going to echo out the value cardinal there. So it's going to say style slash cardinal slash style.css. It's going to pick up the cardinal style sheet and use that to theme out the page. If this was the default theme, which is ladybug, this is going to say style slash ladybug slash style dot css which is going to use the ladybug style sheet to theme out the page that's how each page in your site is going to work using just a couple of alterations to your existing files your style sheet linkage and then you add this right above the doc type okay now the choose theme page is very simple this is just a page that you make to give them the options of changing the theme to various different things. You see here we just have two links. One for the changing to the ladybug theme, one for changing to the cardinal theme. In the code, you'll see that those links are set up using a URL variable. The URL variable is choice and its value in this instance is cardinal. Here for choosing ladybug the link is set to choose underscore theme which is this page dot php choice equals ladybug so when this link gets clicked what happens is the URL variables get sent through the browser and then the page can access it once it comes back in and those values will be read by this page so the first time this page runs here at the top you'll notice we have just disregard all this say the page really starts right here if they don't choose a style if they don't click one of those links all of this code here gets bypassed doesn't even get processed at all this code only runs if they click one of those links to choose a style so if it is set the get choice variable from the URL variables we put the get choice value into this local PHP variable called choice here. Then we run an if condition to say if choice equals ladybug or if the choice is equal to cardinal then we'll process this code. If the choice is not ladybug or cardinal that's some theme we don't have on our site. We don't want them choosing it. You know what I'm saying? Here if it's ladybug or if it's cardinal we execute these lines of code. These two lines of code this one sets the cookie. This one actually creates the cookie and it sets it to approximately 30 days in the future. So this cookie will last and it will remember their choice in their browser for 30 days. 
then the header will send them to any URL that you want them to be sent to. So that's pretty much it. That's how the Choose Theme page works. It's so easy. This little bit of code powers the whole thing. And all you need is links or forms. I put a little comment in here. If you want to use post method using form buttons, you can, like I'm doing at the develop PHP. Okay, so that's the, the home page and the choose theme page. The contact page is just a generic page I threw in there. It's just like the index page. Same thing. Let's close that, close that, and close that. And now we have just the two style sheets. The one for the uh, ladybug theme and the one for the cardinal theme. But what we have in both style sheets is very simple. You refer to any images within that themes folder. So you put any images for that theme in the theme folder and then that way you refer to them the path directly in a local folder. So you can see I'm just going straight to background.jpg to theme out this for this style sheet because the background.jpg is living in the same folder as this style sheet. You can change everything Really, this is where knowing CSS really will come in handy for you in an application such as this because you can make wild different changes from one style sheet to the next, one theme to the next. So basically all you do is style it, you play with the colors, change everything up the way you want from one theme to the next using these style sheets. Okay, and that way you can achieve something cool like I did at develop PHP here let your members change the website theme and it'll be site-wide all over your site as long as you set the right code within the pages to hook it up and if you have happen to have HTML files you can just turn them into .php files and all your HTML and everything will still work exactly the same a PHP file is just a uh, a different kind of fancy uh, HTML file that can process server-side language called PHP. Okay, good. So I'm gonna zip this up right now and you guys will be able to download it. I'll put the link. It'll be available in the description of the video. So you can just download the package and take a look at everything. Throw in your server. See how it changes the site up and everything. Okay, peace.